here we are on day one of my new video diaries for my journey. <coughs> this is the first day we have been given access to Volpine's brand new offices. So I'm going to be recording this video and showing you my journey as I progress through from Volpine to Allsign, Panthera, Icarus and any other companies I invest in thereafter. So what shall I talk about on a video diary? Um, I think we'll start off by talking about how a lot of people think it is passion and drive that allow you to be successful as an entrepreneur. In my experience, it isn't passion and drive that allows you to be successful as an entrepreneur. What allows you to be successful is passion, drive, yes, but also a thirst for knowledge and continually trying to better yourself and an ability to realize that even if a task is something you don't enjoy in the business, you need to understand it and understand how it is done correctly before you give it to someone outside of the business. So, for example, myself, I've been doing this 10 years now. Um, those of you who have read my book will know about my journey in South America um, and Elixir and how we had a very, very successful business and then the business through a few silly mistakes, um, was put into bankruptcy, um, and then was then sold to a competitor. Now with Elixir, when I got success, <clears throat> it wasn't just an understanding of the product or the alcohol that we were selling that gained me that success. It was an understanding of the entire business. So being able to construct your own cash flow, to be able to read your own profit and loss, construct your own profit and loss, being able to understand contract law. Um, now, I'm not suggesting that everyone goes out and gets a degree in contract law, but you should have an idea of what a contract entails prior to you signing it. I'm not expecting everybody to go out and become an accountant, but you should be able to construct your own accounts and have the accountant check them before you sign them off. But at least then you will understand how your business is living financially, how the revenues are coming in, how those revenues are converting into gross profit, how much you're spending on overheads, how much you're spending on getting those sales, and how you're converting the gross profit then down into net profit. If you can understand that, then if at all your business ever struggles, you will be able to review the finances and trim the fat very quickly so that you can maintain profitability or regain profitability um, as quickly as possible. 